Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Um, today I will be showing you how you can actually bring in a sequence of point cloud into Blender 2.82. Um, so I'm using this add-on um, called Point Cloud Visualizer and this one I talked about it um, a while back ago with Blender 2.79 but it's been updated for Blender 2.80 and now it's a lot faster. Uh, you can have a read at the documentation. So basically I I'm using an app called Record 3D um, on the iPhone 10. It also works on the, the latest iPad Pro with a true, uh, true depth face ID. So basically, you can record a bunch of point cloud data. And it's usually pretty huge, like around 10 seconds is, around, is probably one gigabyte if you convert it into PLY. Um, but anyway, you, you record yourself with the sound and you export it out into your computer and you bring it into Blender using this add-on. So the add-on, uh, if you download from GitHub, from Oli uh, GitHub, um, it actually comes in a, in a folder and you just need to use the, the one you need, which is the Point Cloud Visualizer. Once you install it in Blender, it's gonna show up on the panel. Uh, I'm gonna, this is uh, one example where I you, you can check it out with just the depth or with the normal, with the positions or with the actual texture. So it's actually kind of like two and a half D. And if you are, you can also record like almost like a full body in this case. And uh, let me preload it and take a while. This one is actually quite large. So that's myself. This is a, uh, kind of like the limitations, it's only captured a full body kind of like medium or low res but it, it captured the whole body anyway, that's the point so I'm gonna give you an example how you can load it and then uh, just a basic example how you can play around with the point cloud so preference, if you install it properly you're gonna have this point cloud visualizer by Jacob Ulik and it's gonna show up here so by uh, the way you work with it is that you need at least an object. I'm using. I'm gonna be using an empty object. While you uh, you are selecting the object, you can now load the PLY sequence. So this is the PLY sequence from Record 3D app. Um, there are like 240-ish PLY. It's around one gigabyte, so it's quite large. And then you just uh, hit draw. Now it's already drawing the point cloud for you. It's 3D uh, in 3D. So I can rotate the empty, right? And I can now play around with the point cloud. There's the size, point cloud size. This is the, the normal thing that you can get from point cloud. You can really visualize it. It's quite nice and really fast. It's a lot faster with Blender 2.80 you can load the sequence there are a lot of options here including like a, how you can clip the background or the area using the boundary edit i haven't tried the edit filter render you can render it out as animations but what's really interesting here is like things like generate and sequence let's preload sequence if you if the PLY comes as a sequence it's gonna load it for you uh, automatically so 243 and it's gonna cycle so that's kind of nice it's basically almost like automatic once you have it you can you can render it out but you cannot you cannot just save the blend and expect it to work you can however um, send the blend uh, with the PLY data this is it's pretty big one gigabyte is like 10 seconds is around one gigabyte um, you can send it to your friend like this if you like. So it's a, it's a 3D, two and a half D version of yourself. It's kind of nice. Um, I tried using the generate, seems to fail, but I I, have, I haven't really get it to work. I believe you can see, you can export a surface for the uh, particle system. You can also enable, um, let's see. There's an export for PLY. 
but I believe you can use the like Poisson Poisson disk sampling. Yeah, if you if I try to generate this, okay, object does not have gener geometry data. Okay, that's interesting. So maybe I should have used a cube beforehand, but very uh, potentially you can just convert it into mesh. You can convert it to cube. However, that's gonna be that's gonna take a while. It's gonna convert all the thirty thousand points point cloud data from this into a cube as instance. But render uh, is a uh, very easy if you want to render this out. You just need a camera as usual. Um, view camera. Actually, align active view, align active camera to view. And yeah, you basically render this out. Select the empty, select the output folder, accept, render as animation. Oops, it's giving an error message. Let's see, save blend file first. Okay, file, save as monkey point cloud save okay uh, let's properly adjust this camera very quickly oops a few cameras I don't have the shortcut for the for this right so now select the empty select the point cloud visualizer and render animations now blender is gonna freeze and it's rendering in the background Check the folder. Should have the the animations here. So it's it's quite easy and very fast, but I like it. Uh, yeah, I think really I really like this add-on. Still continue continuously uh, being developed by Ulik. Um, just have a read. There's actually a lot of things that comes with the with the zip, not just the point cloud. But point cloud is the most interesting. Have a read. Um, there's a lot here. And you can actually use the point light with the with the lighting. So point cloud with the light is it's very interesting. Alright, hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.